Situated in North Bristol near Avonmouth, Lawrence Weston is a post-war housing estate. Although the resident community is always changing, the estate is home to several generations of families who have lived here their entire lives. My name's Jackie and I was born on the estate 63 years ago. I always liked Lawrence Weston because it used to be a very friendly place and well, it's home to me. That's where I was born. Carl, you're a local resident. What do you like about Lawrence Weston? Well, I live in the flats and in my block particularly it's a real community. I feel safe here because I know so many people. It actually feels like a community here. My name's Mark Pepper. Um, I'm a resident of Lawrence Weston and I've been all my life. I was born and bred here. There's a lot of good things about Lawrence Weston. All my family, all my friends live here, so I've got a, a massive vested interest in, in, in the area. I really like the sense of community that we're clinging on to in Lawrence Weston. The estate is one of mixed fortunes. It faces many problems that residents feel are not being addressed. And how's Lawrence Weston changed? How has it changed? It hasn't changed anything. It's nothing has been built, nothing's been done. Lawrence Weston is affected by deprivation, poverty and a lack of opportunities. It's filthy. There's graffiti everywhere in Lawrence Weston. There's always litter. We had a great library in Lawrence Weston, but they closed it. If I go to college, I've always got to wait for the buses. The buses are always kind of late. I need to take two buses to college and it takes two hours to get there. Anything you don't like? Anything that you'd like to be better in Lawrence Weston? Uh, I think there's too much drug use and drug selling in Lawrence Weston. I've been forgotten and safe, really. You feel like this neighbourhood's forgotten? Yep. Yeah. We are just forgotten. Stick people down here and forget about them. Over the last few years, we've lost quite a lot, including um, Robin Cousin Sports Centre, Clean Slate Employment uh, Service, um, we've lost the Bernardo service, we've lost the uh, college, we've lost the school, we've lost open green spaces. The clinic is now currently under threat. The youth centres are under threat. With the planned developments for Lawrence Weston, we need to start thinking about increasing the amount of services, not removing them. To identify what needs to change and how best to achieve this, interested residents and partners have got together to begin developing a community plan. The community plan is about setting out what the residents would like to see in terms of changes within the neighbourhood over the next, say, 10 years. So that could be anything from new playgrounds to new job opportunities or new health facilities. One of the things that's really good for people's health is actually feeling like you have a voice and an influence in your community. What we hope is that a community plan will give people the opportunity to really get involved and put forward their views about what they want changing in their area. I work at the Rock Community Centre. I feel that the residents of Lawrence Weston need to have a voice. It's time that the residents spoke out show that we are committed and show what we really need. I've been doing two lots of surveys. One for the shops locally is my recent one, but I've also done the door knocking. We trained local residents to do survey work. We've got about 800 responses, so we're beginning to get an idea of how residents feel about the neighbourhood and what changes they think they'd like. the old college site, the Sterling. There's plans to redevelop that site. So we've carried out some consultations with the local residents through the Lawrence Weston Neighbourhood Planning Group. I'm not against a few houses, but I would like to see a supermarket. We would want to see something on that site that's going to have a really positive impact on people's health and well-being. If I was going to rebuild something where the old college was, I would build a new college 
for people that live in Lawrence Weston, it'd be so easy for them to get their education. It's an eyesore at the moment, but it's, uh, it's a real opportunity. There's demand for, uh, for a supermarket on the site, there's a need for community facilities, perhaps a library, um, and there's also uh, demand for more housing. The development of the site could really change the area. We set up a planning group at the beginning of the year and it's been real successful at influencing what happens in the neighbourhood. The residents have worked with the council to put together a development brief that will say what will be built on the college site. Uh, the planning group have helped to influence keeping the clinic open, um, they campaigned to save uh, a green space. Some of the residents have been involved in setting up a new charitable company which will lead the regeneration of Lawrence Western. So I think in a really short time um, they've really got a lot done. I think there could be a future for Lawrence Western. It's a good thing that people like people that are involved and want to get involved. It would be nice for more people to get involved. We've got a community planning day coming up. Um, where we're open that we can bring together the local residents, um, local service providers, heads of departments from Bristol City Council and other interested stakeholders to design a plan for the short term and long term future of Lawrence Weston. I would like to see somewhere now where the young mums can take their kids, where they can play safely and the whole place just tied it up. If everybody that turns up should take away one thing or one task, I think you could make a real change in Lawrence Weston. People feel that actually they're in the driving seat then and they're not just receiving things and having them done to the area that they've been able to make some choices. It matters to me a great deal what happens in Lawrence Weston. This is my home. This is where I was raised. This is where I'm raising my family, my children, my grandchildren. I want to stay here for my whole life because I've grown up here and I like it here and I think that it can get better with more help. <laughs>